I wrote my first eulogy when I was 22. My best friend killed herself like three months after we got back from Iraq. Completely blindsided me. Everything looked okay, everything was okay. Like we had breakfast every Monday. Over the weekend, you know, he, uh, he just, I woke up Monday, it was like, sorry. Yeah, like, don't go to breakfast. And it was one of those things where it's like, God bless, like, how did I not see this happening? How did I not see this coming? And uh, it still affects you. It's been, you know, like, almost 20 years. I'm the uh, CTO over at Stop Solar Suicide and the founder of the Black Box Project. So the Black Box Project was a way for us to use innovation and technology to prevent and predict suicidal trends between veterans. With Black Box Project in particular, taking data from those that have died by suicide and recreating their last year of life, we're looking for signals and insights that show a critical pathway towards a suicide attempt or death. And we're finding very unique signals at the six and three month mark prior to death that show dramatic changes in sleep pattern behaviors, anger and sentiment, and social isolation. So we take those insights and say, who is socially isolating? Who is not sleeping? Who is angry? And how do we reverse those into digital outreach ads in the right channel at the right moment to the right people to get right in front of them and say, we see you, we know you're struggling, we can help. Chris was the first one to support me, right? And then it was Celebrate right after that, right? If I don't get that, I don't get the funding from Chris because Chris is going to believe me for so long. But then once Celebrate, then Amazon, then you have all these big companies believe in the idea and concept, they can see it. The amazing thing about Black Box and the tools from Celebrate is we're getting firsthand data about what was really going on in the days, hours, weeks, months before death that have never been uncovered before. There was a knock at the door, and uh, two chaplains were there. I remember when I first looked out, and I couldn't, so like, what are you there? And I just went to the ground. You expected it to happen there, you didn't expect it to happen here. And unbeknownst to uh, most, he was struggling with his PTSD. I'm very proud of my son. He, he gallantly fought those demons, but they won the night of uh, September 7. When that demon hits, it hits. It, it was not our son. It was not our son's intention. No, it was. He was fighting it so hard. Yep, it was just, um, just overtook him. The statistics are blaring that so many more soldiers <clears throat> die of their PTSD battle rooms than, that, than die actually yeah. on hostile ground. The first success was I think for the families to see that they have an outlet, their son's not forgotten. There is potentially good they can do, almost like organ donating. And so I think it's a way and an outlet for them to maybe potentially prevent that from happening to somebody else. Our partnership with Celebrate has been critical to Black Box Project. The tools that have been made available to us to do these analyses and really uncover what's going on in the digital behaviors of those who've died is essential for this project. It's been a remarkable journey to focus on such an important cause and reimagine a new future for our country.